beautiful. I feel like this frame, this scene, how it's transpiring is about one bad camera away from some sort of uh, what are you doing step bro kind of scene on the tennis court. <laughs> So what a lot of you guys have been requesting on my most recent vlog, season two, is I go back on the tennis court. I know that a lot of you guys want to see the match play that me and my state league team do, but unfortunately, it's basically not possible because I have to go through the motion of getting there extra early on time, making sure that the captain from the other team knows that I'm recording the match and also the person I'm playing, whether it's singles or doubles, is okay with me recording the match. So sometimes it's not exactly possible but I promise I'm working on it so for now I'm just gonna be doing drills specifically with Brian say hi Brian to basically work on my attacking game now being five foot eight I'm not exactly what you call a total Chad on the tennis court and in real life I'm like Brian who's like six foot nine nice how tall are you I have like six four look at those legs six four Jeez. So what I'm going to have him do is, first of all, hand feed me a drill to make sure that I'm going into the court, transferring my weight and flattening out the ball. And then the next set of drills I'm going to do is have him feed from across the net instead of just hand feeding. So I'll show you guys what we're talking about right now. This frame, this scene, how it's transpiring is about one bad camera away from some sort of uh, what are you doing step bro kind of scene on the tennis court. <laughs> but, <laughs> wrong platform, I guess, right guys? I guess that is, uh, that next is, that next venture is only going to be for fans of sorts. <laughs> but. No, thank you, Brian, for that. Uh, that's a good drill because naturally I'm a defensive baseliner. So if you saw me uh, hitting how I am right now against someone that's a mid-level 4-5, that's uh, 23 or 24 in much better shape but not enough firepower, I think he's about 5 foot 10. 
would you recommend being a little bit more aggressive, even from the baseline? Yeah, probably. Any other tips for me? <laughs> tips for Mark, huh? I don't know, I'm asking you. You're my hitting partner slash coach oh, right now. Man. Other than having two different colored shoes like you are right now, it's not an, on that level It's yet. an intimidation factor. Oh, they told me to uh, show up, not with a tennis bag, but an actual garbage bag. And I'm going to do it. I mean, what, what's more Chad than showing up with a garbage bag full of wrapped tennis rackets? Garbage bag, I would yeah, say. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. So I'll definitely do that. <laughs> Jesus. But as always, thanks for hitting, dude. Always. That's why I'm here. How's your stately coming along? We are 2-0. Oh. You as an individual? Uh, I'm 1-1. 1-1? One and one. One and one? Yeah. Well, singles? I, won, I lost my one singles match and we smoked our one doubles match. Hopefully we'll uh, get you in a winning record of the singles. Singles record at your level. Yeah. I want you to be a singles specialist by the time we're done with this blog. <laughs> oh, I owe you more than uh, just hitting partner if uh, yeah. I'd end up being a singles specialist. All right. What should I eat tonight? Oh. Um, a plate of mixed greens with a light balsamic vinaigrette. There you go. Chicken? Avocado? <laughs> yeah, actually, alright, alright, here, we'll do it this way. Uh, do an avocado toast there you go. with a uh, light lemon mayonnaise included and just a slightly hardened egg. Like a true millennial. Yeah, yeah. Now, before I even eat it, I gotta take like five Instagram pictures, right? At least five. It's five. From different angles and different lights, and then... Don't forget the filters. Valencia is where it's at. <laughs> I know somebody you could tag in those photos. Oh god. Is he studying to become a doctor? Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright guys, well I gotta get going. Um, we're still at my tennis club about seven minutes away from where I live. And I gotta get ready for a live stream. By the way, I do live stream Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Link down in the description below if you wanna come in and ask a question or just hang out while I string tennis rackets with the other bored individuals <laughs> that find me entertaining. It's a pretty good time though, in all seriousness. So I'll see you guys in a bit. You know, honestly, it wasn't the worst hitting session in the world but I'm still a little bit scared about the State League match tomorrow. Um, he's gonna be in much better shape than me and, oh look, a deer. It's a deer right there, how cute. That's what happens in uh, summers in Wisconsin, in the Metro Milwaukee area. It's amazing because um, even though he is I think either one and a half or two UT points UTR lower than me. I'm still kind of scared uh, because I didn't hit super well. I didn't hit super bad at all. And um, it's just kind of nerves, which actually is kind of normal. Um, to an extent, you should have at least a little bit of nerves in every single one of your tennis matches. Um, obviously, hopefully not too much because you're not going to perform at your optimal level. And... You know, it's um, their doubles team, their 4-5 USTA team as a whole is very strong in doubles. Singles are not as strong as they probably should be or definitely not as strong as they were in the past. So hopefully we get a 5-0 win and hopefully I have a pretty good day at work tomorrow. And I again, I only have one lesson from uh, I think 4 to 5 and then it's about a 30 minute drive to the match and the match is at... Uh, six o'clock so i'll have 30 minutes time of getting either qdoba chipotle mcdonald's or taco bell uh dealer's choice i guess so we'll, we'll find out what i eat tomorrow as well so yeah i got ready for my stream i'll see you guys soon in any type of journey or adventure there's always going to be let's say hiccups along the way and although my team won, it wasn't really what we expected, to be honest, but a win is a win nonetheless. So my number two singles guy, Joey, beat another gentleman named Mark in straight sets, 6-4, six, 6-0. Six, 
My number one doubles team, my co-captains, Andy and Kyle, lost in a very close match tiebreak, 4-6, 7-6, against Chris and a current Whitewater tennis player named Noah. Our number two singles won pretty handily. Scott, aka Angry Old Man, who was featured on Essential Tennis quite a bit, and Eric, they won at the two double slots, 6-4-6-1. And Jeff and Adam at the three double spot won 6-2, 6-1 against Alex and Henry. I believe they're brothers or cousins of the likes. I want to talk about my match though. Well, I played, he's going to be a doctor, I believe, in about four to five years. He's in very good shape. He had a really good game plan and he executed that game plan pretty damn well. And I want to congratulate Tommy. He's, he actually is the greatest singles tennis player for men's four, five, 18 and over in the Milwaukee area. I believe he's undefeated. I lost, I believe it was, I lost the first set 6-3. He made very few unforced errors. He was pressing on the mid court very well, something that I've been working hard on in the previous drill. And it's, it was humbling. Not gonna lie. And then I started to turn it on the second set. I won the second set 6-1. However, I had a few chances in the match tiebreak. I believe I was up 4-2 on the very first match tiebreak changeover. He brought it back to 6-6 and he, my opponent, Tommy, ended up winning the match tiebreak, I believe 10-8. And Although I didn't play bad, and to be honest, I did start to cramp up a little bit in the match tiebreak because he got me on defense, I didn't execute on my game plan as much as I'd hoped for. And it's one of those things too where on top of the diet, on top of the mentality of not being too defensive but not being over aggressive, this is, type, this is the type of journey that I enjoy because here's the thing, if everything was going to be roses and daisies and you know dandelions, there wouldn't be exciting and there wouldn't be any push. There wouldn't be any internal and external pressure, not only from you know myself, but also you guys that are watching and my, my teammates as well. So it's not a bad loss in my opinion. It's just something to take away that I still need to be a lot more aggressive on my mid court and neutral balls that I receive from the other side. I did change up my service motion to be looking more like Andy Roddick and for the most part, it did help. I just need to work on my second serves. But at the end of the day, for this match, he's a better player than me. And hopefully, um, I'll reach out to him. I did get his number uh, because I used to, I don't know if I used to coach him, but I would say I definitely trained with him when he was in high school because he is a local kid from the area that recently graduated from University of Wisconsin-Madison. So hopefully he'll be featured on my channel in a national recorded match play and hopefully you guys can see how much he was really, really dictating with his mid-court forehand to pull me left or right um, way behind the baseline. And, you know, he did a very good job. So a few things to work on. Got a lot of stuff for you guys. So hope you guys enjoy the vlog. And if you guys want to support this channel and show your appreciation for this type of content, do me a favor and consider hitting that join button and consider being a member on my YouTube channel for $2.99 a month if you guys could afford it. You guys get custom emojis and you guys are able to get a little bit of special treatment where I will ask members only polls on my YouTube channel for any questions that you guys want me to address that I might not have addressed in previous Q&A sessions. So I'll see you guys around. Join my Discord, follow me on Instagram and follow my Twitter. I will leave links to all of those down in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed the drill. As always, happy hitting.